What's poppin' people? It's King Dell the seventh, and I'm gonna start this off with a bet. Actually, I'm gonna do this from now on, right? So if you're new here, I want you to hit the subscription button right now. Here's where the bet starts. If you don't, it's not about if you agree, but if you don't respect what I have to say for the rest of this video, then you can feel free to unsub after you listen to the whole video, and you can just leave and never come back. You don't have to listen to me ever again. Just hit the sub button right now, and if you don't agree, then leave. Or if you, not if you don't agree, if you don't respect what I say, then you can leave. But if you do, then you have to stay subbed, and you have to watch another video to see if you respect what I have to say there. Uh, I think that's the whole bet. I'm pretty sure that's how I wanted to say it. Yeah, I think I did that right. Alright, so let's talk about the topic. Today's topic is Call of Duty versus Destiny. Now, there are probably going to be a lot of people thinking this. Probably You're probably starting to comment this already. There are two different types of FPS. There's no way you can really compare them. There's no reason to really compare them. And they're both owned by Activision. Now, I do agree. Call of Duty is more of your normal first person shooter just a straight up first person shooter very or not very realistic but it's a simulated war based game first person shooter with arcadic features sort of kind of it's more standard it's more of a standard first person shooter than destiny whereas Destiny is like your RPG with first-person shooter aspects or a first-person shooter with RPG aspects and you just jump around and glide in the air, triple jumps, supers, golden guns, nova bombs, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot more. They're very different games in terms of being first-person shooters. But this is not a comparison to see which game is better. I'm not talking i'm not going to be well i kind of am but i'm not going to the main focus isn't what is better between destiny and call of duty that's not what i care about here although i do personally think that destiny is a better first person shooter that's neither here nor there but that's not the point of this video the question that i propose in this video is which one will dominate in terms of having people gravitate towards them as being first person shooters because call of duty usually is that dominant force whether people like it or not when it comes to selling copies of games call of duty usually has that down packed they usually always sell the most even though people will always complain about the game People will always play the game, and people will always go back to Call of Duty at the end of the day. My question is, can Destiny 2 change that? Which I hope it can, because I just want people to have fun playing the game. Like, I hear about far too many people complaining about this Call of Duty franchise that they hate, but they always seem to buy it every year. I'm here to talk about a healthy alternative, Destiny 2. Now, the thing about it, though, is I played the Call of Duty World War II beta, and I actually enjoyed the game. I had fun. Now, granted, that game still had all of the same problems that I've seen people complain about in every other Call of Duty, but I went into that game with such low expectations that I was actually having fun. I was like, hmm, this is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. The gunplay was pretty good. The maps, I didn't enjoy the maps, but the maps are bearable. Um, the war game mode was a healthy addition to the game. Um... What else is there? Kill streaks are always fun in Call of Duty. It it was a pleasant experience for me. The beta was now, like I said before, it did have its problems. The thing about me enjoying the beta, though, what I enjoy in first-person shooters, 
I tend to find that the Call of Duty community does not like at all in first person shooters. For instance, when I shoot a gun and it doesn't have recoil, that bothers me. But when I say that to a Call of Duty player, they say things like, they'll either say things like, oh, the guns have enough recoil. They'll say that. Or they'll say, not every first person shooter has to have recoil. Now, both of those are very fair points. These are, like, whether or not you like a game or like features of a game, that's all uh, subjective, I believe, is the word I'm looking for. Like, is it different from person to person? But that comes down to my point, though. I feel like this Call of Duty, even though I liked it, I feel like a lot of the Call of Duty community will not like the game at all. It might still get its sales, but when people play it and people get a feel for how it plays, I feel like people won't enjoy the game whatsoever. Call of Duty may have improved, but I don't think that it improved enough to keep its core fan base happy for more than maybe two months. Call of Duty has always had the problems that it's had in Call of Duty World War 2. Like, Modern Warfare 2 was not a perfect game. I don't even call Modern Warfare 2 a good first-person shooter. It was just a super, super fun first-person shooter. There's a difference between good and fun. I can have fun with a horrible game, but it doesn't make it good. Um, there are parts of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 that were just broken when it came to aiming, kill times, kill streaks, things like that. There are a bunch of things in that game that were broken, but that were just super fun. Although that game was broken, it had redeeming qualities and kill streaks and pacing and things like that. Same thing with Black Ops 1. The thing about these last Call of Duties that people hate it, I feel like the games haven't even gotten that much worse. I don't feel like Call of Duty, in terms of being a pure first-person shooter, have. I don't feel like the game has actually gotten any worse, except for the fact that the redeeming qualities have lessened. The kill streaks aren't as good. The pacing is not is not as good. So in that sense, they did get worse because they lost the redeeming qualities that the game had. So it was just the same game without the plus size that people were used to. So it was nothing left to that game except just the BS. Now, let's talk about Destiny. Destiny is a game that I don't feel like... I feel like the majority of people who complain about Destiny didn't even play the game that much. Because when you look... So, the biggest complaint about Destiny was the story mode, right? Now, that's a fair thing to complain about. Maybe those people who complain about the story mode didn't really care, don't really care for first-person shooters. They were just playing a game expecting a better story, and they didn't get that better story, so they just quit on the game early. That's super reasonable. That's super fair. I can respect that. But, in terms of being a first-person shooter, I almost butchered that in terms of being a first person shooter though that was not even the worst problem with that game in my opinion as the game got deeper it improved in story and it worsened in gameplay in my opinion for instance if you go and play destiny right now what you'll find is you'll find well let's not even talk about it well actually i'll finish that statement what you'll find right now in Destiny is you'll find a lot of people crutching on grenades and just throwing one-shot magnet grenades that just stick to you and kill you in one hit. That's what you'll find in Destiny right now. The game had balancing issues. And before, it, even earlier in the game, a lot of people were crutching on secondary weapons, which a lot of people disliked. And the fact that people would just run around with shotguns and fusion rifles. Now, although gunfights were still a thing... People didn't like the way that gunfights went down. People didn't like the fact that a headshot and a body shot from Thorn would kill you in two hits. You just die from two hits of Thorn. People didn't like that. There were worse things in Destiny 
than what people complained about. So what does that mean? Like, oh, people, you're just saying people complain, but they complained about the wrong thing. People still complain. So here's why I'm saying this, though. People didn't give Destiny a chance to really even dive deep into the game. Because of something easy to fix like a bad script and bad story. So if what the devs are saying in Destiny... If what the devs are saying about Destiny 2 is, 2 is true... And what they're saying is that the story mode is vastly improved... And that um, it's gonna be people are going to be complaining that there's too much story and yada yada yada... Put your money where your mouth is, Bungie. That's what they're saying, though. If that's what is true, then there will be no excuse... But for people to play that game and actually give it a chance and see if they actually like the game or not. Because early on in Destiny, in my opinion, it was one of the best first person shooters in terms of gameplay mechanics, smoothness of shooting, how the game flowed, the maps, everything. I just, it was just one of the better first person shooters I've ever played. But a lot of people didn't even give it a chance because they heard from a lot of people that it had a bad story. Even though. There are a lot of people who play Call of Duty and don't even play that story mode, but that's neither here nor there. I think that if Destiny 2 just improves that small um, that small part in their story writing, if they improve that element and they keep a lot of the gameplay the same and they balance it well, I feel like Destiny can only go up and that people won't have an excuse to not give Destiny a chance anymore. Like, for the most part, excuse me, when I heard people complain about Destiny, how many times did you hear people complain about Destiny and say the guns suck, or that the game wasn't fun, or anything that had to do with gameplay? How many times did you hear people say that Strike sucked in Destiny or Rage sucked in Destiny? That was never the case. When it comes down to it, Destiny has more to enjoy than it than Call of Duty ever possibly will. There's just so much more to do. But people had the excuse of saying, don't get this game, the story sucks. And for some reason, that scared a lot of people away from Destiny. Even though Halo never had the best story, Call of Duty stories were always pretty good but people don't really even play call of duty for a story they play it for online when you go who who plays call of duty or i'm not gonna say that because a lot of people actually play the story mode and call of duty ghost story mode was actually really good in my opinion but how many people raise your hand or leave a like actually on the video if when you play call of duty the first thing you do is go straight to the multiplayer It's going to be a lot of people who say yes to that. So, I don't know. The problem, though, with Destiny is you kind of have to play the story mode in order to play the multiplayer. So, you can't really afford to do that in Destiny. But, I think if Destiny just improves that story and erases the excuses that people have for not giving it a chance people will play destiny people will enjoy destiny and destiny will dominate the first person shooter scene that's just my opinion though i would love to hear your opinions on the topic like i said in the very beginning of the video if you do not respect what i have to say not about agreeing if you don't respect what i have to say if you think that everything that i was saying in this video is just me pulling things like out of nowhere then just unsub you don't have to watch another video of mine. But if you think that I'm on to something with what I had to say in this video, hey, you may enjoy some other topics that I have in some other videos. You never know, man. You never know. But uh, this is King Dollar 7 signing off. Please stay subbed and like the video. Peace.